Hi, we're going to go ahead and add a SCORM uh, activity into Moodle. So we're in Moodle, editing is turned on, and we're going to go to the Add Activity menu, click SCORM Package. Okay, so we're going to do Sample SCORM Activity. Now the activity that I'm going to upload is a package of, um, it's a package of basically uh, content and a quiz. So uh, there's instructional content, and then uh, basically it goes into a quiz. Um, now the strength of SCORM is just that. So basically, it's a it's a it's a way that um, a course uh, developer can edit, or sorry, can uh, it's a way that a course developer can leverage uh, content from other sources. Um, so it's important because the fact that you know uh, content uh, packages in this manner can come from you know different sources come from a textbook editor, a textbook editor, or a district, or or something like this that you can then use in your course. Um, it could also be created for you um, specifically for your course. Um, so the uh, this tutorial is not covering how to create a SCORM package itself or the SCORM content itself. We're only talking about if you are given SCORM content, a SCORM package, how to put it into Moodle as an activity. Okay, so what we have here is we have the title of the activity that's going to appear on your course uh, page. Then we have the description. So this is the student instruction. So anything outside of the SCORM, um, uh, the SCORM assignment or the SCORM package that you want the student to see, you should display it here. So any instructions on how to play the SCORM package, any instructions on what to do inside the SCORM package, anything that you want to have the student read prior to, to playing it, you should you should uh, put here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose a file. Now, what I've done is instead of waiting to upload the file in this video, I've actually uploaded to my private files first. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just choose this SCORM package. Notice that um, notice, or you will notice, that it's a zip file. Okay, so uh, SCORM folders presentation.zip. Okay, so this is a this is basically a SCORM package that will teach somebody how to use folders on the Windows operating system. Restricted time, restrict answering to this time period. Uh, we, we don't need to do that. Okay, now let's go down to display settings because this is really where uh, you need to be careful. So, um, so as of Moodle 2.0, um, what they did with SCORM content is that they made it um, they made it so the SCORM content um, uh, would be automatically sized. So the player would be auto the the frame that the the SCORM content is housed in would be automatically sized. Um, this worked and it didn't work. Um, mainly the problem is that. Uh, if there's too much, is there's too much other stuff in the window, it will squeeze that SCORM um, frame to be too small. So we need to set some options here to ensure that that SCORM content is is, uh, is displayed appropriately. Okay, the first things that we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, we want to make it you know fairly wide and fairly tall. So width is going to be 768, height is going to be uh, 400. Okay. So that means that this is going to fit onto um, uh, 800 by 600 uh, screen. So, so even the small screens, this pop-up window, uh, would be able to fit onto. Now let's go down to the options. Okay, so this is the, now. So we're describing the new window here. So we're going to allow the window to be resized. We're going to allow it to be scrolled. We don't want to show any directory links. We don't want to show it a location bar. We don't want to show a menu bar. We don't want to show a tool bar. We don't want to show a status bar. Okay, so those are all things that we don't want to show. Okay. Student to skip content structure page. Um, always. Okay, so we don't want to show anything but the swarm content. Uh, the default for Moodle is to actually show um, some of the data that comes with the SCORM package in the in the viewer. Um, what we're going to do is we're not going to display any of that here. Um, we can display that here. So we can display some of the content that comes along with the SCORM package. Um, if you put always, then it will always display. Okay. We're going to, sorry, we're going to put never. Um, 
this is what this text is for, in my opinion. So if you have if you have a good description here, a lot of the or some of that initial content that comes over with the um, the structure at least of the scoring package doesn't need to be displayed. Um, display core structure on entry page. We want to put no to this. Display core structure in player. We don't want to display that, so we want to put hidden. Okay. Okay, and so there we have it. Okay, so now we have highest, the grading method is the highest grade, maximum grade is 100, number of attempts is unlimited, highest attempt, so then these are all, all stuff, uh, force complete no, force new attempt no, lock after final attempt no, uh, auto complete no, and frequency update, auto update frequency um, is never. Okay, uh, if you had SCORM content that changes on a regular basis, you'd want to put um, every time it's used. That way the student would always be ensured to get a fresh version of whatever you're playing. Okay, so we set our um, options. Remember, it's mainly those pop-up window options that you need to be concerned with. So let's do Save and Display. Okay, so this is the um, this is the the page that the student would see when they come and look at it. Uh, they would not have this reports tab that's up here. They would only have this um, this these instructions. Okay, we're going to go in uh, under normal modes to see what the what the student would see. So let's go ahead and click enter. Okay, now one thing that that may happen here is this. So if you look at the top of my screen, we have Firefox prevented the site from opening a pop-up window. Okay, so you're going to need to click Options, and we can click Always Allow Pop-ups for LMS.Sandy.net, or we can do Show, and then this was the pop-up window. Okay, so what we have here is we have the content loading. Um, this is where we, we uh, if we put, remember we put hidden uh, for one of the options. This is the hidden content here. So this is the, this is the, um, so we're in the SCORM window here. And this is the, the um, hidden uh, uh, structure for the content, content or the content structure. So we want to keep that hidden. Uh, and you'll notice that. Um, the SCORM player is plenty large. Uh, if we want to open up the window itself, you'll notice that uh, the, the content should change. And because we made it resizable, um, this will protect from, if we say had SCORM content that had an unpredictable size, the student would be able to expand that window to allow them to see that content, uh, regardless of the size of, uh, of the initial player. Okay, so this is the SCORM content that we have. We have a video that's playing, and it's set to... Uh, okay, so basically what will happen is this: uh, the, the video continues to play until it's finished. Um, now let's take a look at the SCORM content. So basically what happens here is that the SCORM uh, is going to... Um, oops, the SCORM player has a uh, quiz built into it. And I just made the mistake of re, uh, re-sizing the window, which made the, score, the SCORM player actually reload, which is, uh, which is a bug. So um, that would be a reason why you don't want the student to uh, be able to resize the window. Um, but I still think that it's safer. The student will learn not to resize the window during the playback. Um, better that they can see the window, better that they can see the swarm content, and adjust accordingly uh, rather than, than not run the risk of being able to see the, the actual content. So I've kind of adjusted things around here. 
Um, okay, so we get to the actual quiz. The student um, answers some of the quiz questions. through the quiz uh, if there's a quiz in in the um, SCORM content. Okay, and all of this is controlled by the SCORM file. None of this is is uh, is affected by the, the options that you were given in Moodle. Uh, basically the options in Moodle determine this pop up the size of the pop-up window. So the options in Moodle basically deserve, determine the size of the pop-up window, the display of this of this material on the side here. Okay, so once the um, once the student is finished, basically we can click here to return the return to the course homepage. And if we go back into the swarm activity, you'll notice that uh, basically what will have happened is that we can go to the reports, and you'll see that um, that I went in and uh, made an attempt. My score was zero on that attempt. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to delete selected attempts here. Okay, so that is how we add in um, we add in the SCORM content. Uh, so that's a that's an example of adding in SCORM content and kind of a sample of how we um, how we actually uh, oops, sorry about how we how it will be displayed inside of of the uh, interface. I hope it helps. Good luck.